You want answers? What, what's that going to set up? We've got to go to work. It, it's the Strat, Strat Attack, Attack Show. show. But we're always wondering what the next two is. Holy shnikes, it works. That's something I want, I want to know about. What's your name, scumbag? Strat Attack Show. We're on a mission from God. Here's, Here's Rob, Rob Smith. Smith. Hello everyone, I'm Rob Smith, the Smiths in the Black, and if it's Tuesday, it's the Strat Attack Show, it's where we hop into the urban assault vehicle and see what's going on. So let's take a look. So uh, one of the things I opted to do over the weekend was not make a weekend video, and it's rare that I do that, but there's reasons for it, and some of the reasons are this. So we had the spy doing this precipitous drop right after this, two up, two down reversal. So the VIX was really heightened here. So what that's telling me, and you go down the lows of the week, everything's going to pretty much look bad on the lows of the week. When you have a high VIX like that, what that tells me is that we're going to be using a lot more intraday time frame continuity, where normally I'm going through the monthly, weekly, daily, and 60. Well, when you have a heightened VIX, you're going to have the size bars like we had yesterday, right? So normally, this could be a month, right? So that's why we go down intraday time frame continuity, because the moves you're going to see on a shorter term basis are as big as the normal longer time frame. So I knew we were going to be sticking on intraday time frame continuity, and I was right after yesterday's uh, after yesterday's move. Also knew that we had uh, the Fed coming, we have a lot of earnings coming out, all that kind of stuff. And uh, so there was no real point to it. And we got what we wanted. We got this, this big slammer, the big comeback. That was nice. And you could get in on those intradays here, like I said, many times. On the, if you go to the 30 spy here yesterday, two up, two down. Two up. That's what we were looking for. Because you see this? When we started off the week and then we start to dump and you make the lower lows and then you start rallying back, we know price discovery works in a series of broadening formations. So here's your lower low and we were looking to take this out. Now right here, it came up just short of that, right? So this was definitely a short signal here to take that down. But you got to cover as soon as it gets back into here because once this kicks in, we're going after that for sure, right? Now you got your higher high, now you got your lower low, and now you got this thing which is your inside day. So we got a ton of inside days, right? So what's the problem with that is that uh, it's a Tuesday. So what that means is if you go to a weekly, you're going to see a lot of dojis doing nothing. This, this, this market has not decided which way it's going to go yet for the week um, overall. So because if you go to QQQ, look at this. Inside day. Which tells me on a Tuesday, I'm going to go to my weekly, I got a doji, I'm doing nothing, right? How are we going to get out of this kind of stuff, right? And once again, if you go down to those shorter time frames, once again, almost everything, you hear me talk about simultaneous breaks, almost everything was two up, two down, and boom, to go take out that high. Lower low, higher high, this is what an inside day looks like when you can't take out that or that, and we're coming into... Uh, Coming into uh, Microsoft earnings, I'll get to that in a second. But one of the things we did um, yesterday when the market started rallying back, right, and doing those 30s, is what we what did we know? We knew XRT, right? So if you looked at XRT, one of these things was not like the other. This thing came blasting, and it was green on the day before the market started turning around. Right? That tells me I have buyers in there. The market's tanking, but and these things are trading higher than they open. That got us in there, and that's why we were in there right away. Now, you got an inside day coming after this, but that continuity, that, that means that we still have that, that daily 60 weekly continuity to the upside when the market turned around. No reason to believe that's going to go down. And once again, that 30 again, just like everything else, and so you can see what this thing did here. This is a two down, two up reversal 30 that you take here, right? And then there's, like everything else, that two up, two down, and boom, right into the highs, right? So we're always gauging that relative performance. Um, a couple other things I just want to touch on. Um, it's one of the things I, I tell people they should never miss, and I'll show you why. American Express today was on the gap list, right? Gap's up. Then you'll see here, make sure it's big enough. You'll see here it goes inside on the 60. So you could have taken this as a 2 1 2 reversal. 2 1 2 off the 60, right? But when it doesn't break out of this, 
Right, that's the mother bar. Anything before an inside bar is called a mother bar. You got to get out of there. So once it started breaking down into here and starts reversing back higher, you got to cover. Right. However, one of the things I tell people you should never miss is a two bar sixty minute rev straight off a gap. Inside bar, poke down, boom, rev strap back up, and we're going to take this out. This takes three hours to set up. Right. So if anything, you're just too bored. Right, because you shouldn't miss this, right? And then if this works, you see this? That took out that. These three are an outside bar. These two actually are an outside bar of that. So when you see the gap list, even if you check in every three hours, <laughs> you, sh you shouldn't miss that. Um, also, you'll notice I have a notepad up during the day, like when you see me doing the... Uh, doing the strat time report, you know, about stuff that we're looking at. And today was IBM, right? And IBM, we knew this, we've been watching this one for a while because of here, the monthly, right? We knew this, the outside month, we're taking up both sides, the two down, but then the boom, right here. Three, two, two, ran out of time. We we're looking to take this out, which we got. And now if we go to the weekly, you can see this. Backed off. But as we started to run, we're going to go outside week. And that's what you want to look for, right? Because we know broadening formations exist. And we know you can see this outside of that, outside of that. But mainly this. Once we started blasting through there, we're looking to take that out. And so IBM, you can see this is what we look for. Trying to be at here. The two down to make the lower low stop everybody out. The two two reversal on a Tuesday which means you have continuity back to the upside, coming back through a previous range to stop out anybody in here. Anybody who stopped against any of this stuff in here is matched with real buyers, and that removes liquidity. So then people say, well, then how do I get in? And if you can go to a 15-minute chart, you'll hear me say, trying to be out, and there it is, right here. Here's your corrective activity, your one, two, one, two reversal on the 15-minute. Let it come in, two, two, two down, Boom, looking much like that daily, coming back through the previous range, and off she goes, IBM, real nice on that one. So another thing that we knew today was uh, the energies, all right, XLE. So another thing, we, we, we come in here, and after yesterday's rally, you can see two down, two up. When we were looking, that could have potentially happened to a lot of things. A lot of things closed out near the highs, right? But energy took the two down, two up. And the reason we could expect that is because of this. See this? This was the weekly opening. And when you're up into here, you're up, you're green on the week. Still green on the month. Not everybody can say that, right? And we also know from the macro list, we're green on the year and green on the quarter, right? So that's stuff I wanted to know about. And that's where we were all day long today. Because we know when you see there's Slob, Exxon, Oxy, all of them doing the same thing. We know all of them have full continuity, including macro, right? And some of the macro signals, XLE is inside year to the up. So is Exxon, Slob, Chevron. And then, once again, once they start ripping, we know that they're buying every energy stock. So that tells us algorithmically they're in there buying anything that has a drop of oil. That's good. They're not discerning either any of these stocks. Um, then you just look to find your way in. How do you find your way in? Let's go to Chevron. right here. You see this? Inside, I don't know if that was inside. This is two down. This is slightly two down. There's your corrective activity. Two, two reversal. Boom, you're in Chevron. Off she goes. If you go to like CLR here, you're going to see this. This is a two down by taking out the lows. I mean, this is sure it's not a three. Nope, that's a two down. That's your corrective activity. There's your inside bar. Two, one, Two reversal, you're in CLR, CLR off to the races, because we know all these still have their monthly continuity. This has got a little bit more to go to take this out. Two down, two up on the month, uh, some real nice stuff in there. So if we're going to come into tomorrow, like I said, a ton of inside days. Microsoft right now trying to lead the pack down. And as we know, tech has a lot of the red bars on the month, all right? So it's kind of a push-me-pull you on, can the energy hold up? Is the tech going to weigh us down? As of right now, Microsoft looks to gap lower, right? And that's going to be interesting because that's a big component of the XLK. Also an inside day with Apple. Apple potential, the two down, the two up, and the two, two, two 
right back down, but we'll see how that goes because we already got what we wanted out of Apple in the month. Here, we also can be watching inside dates, S semiconductors, SMH, right? This is always interesting here um, because we know that's also blood red on the month, but it's an inside day on a Tuesday, still a doji, and you'll have like your NVIDIAs and all these guys going inside day. NVIDIA still on the month is a two on two reversal, like TTD, still, still. Uh, like so. So, uh, like I said, a ton of inside days um, on a Tuesday with earnings coming out and you've got the Fed coming in the afternoon, right? So we might get some rock'em, sock'em early and then some boring, but we want to see how many of this massive, massive inside days, and I can show you how massive it is, um, break. Which way do they go? Do some go up? Do some go down? Um, do a lot gap? And here you can see the inside days. Here, Ford, AMD, Microsoft, NVIDIA, Intel, AMC, Uber. You can see it's, you know, Cisco, Coke, Twitter, RBLX, MU. So you can see how massive this list is. So the question is, is Microsoft going to gap down and suck down a lot of tech? Um, did the energy stay strong? What What's going to happen? So like I said, when you have an inside day on a Tuesday and the broader averages, they have not made up a decision on which way they want to go. Right? They freaked everybody out. Now they come back into the middle. How we get out of this kind of stuff, uh, we'll see. So that's going to do it for today. I'm Rob Smith. Smith in the Black with the Strat Attack. You've been listening to the Strat Attack Show. It's over. That looks like I'm running out of time again. You ever seen a grown man naked? And now for something completely different. Yeah. Did you get that memo? Let's go to Billy Baru. Oh, Billy, Billy. Here's where they're buying. Oh, behave. Here's where they're selling. Oh, righty. I'd keep an eye on this. Is that a problem? It is. You just don't turn it off. I'm Rob Smith. I hate Illinois Nazis. I'm Smith in the Black with the Strat Attack. Yeah.